Hello everyone, this is Yamin. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can install C Sharp and create a C Sharp project using Visual Studio Code. So for it, first of all, we need to search over here .NET Core SDK. Then go to this link .NET.Microsoft.com. So I just click over here. And I'll also give this link in the description. So right now, after coming to this, you will see a lot of versions. So just download the uh, free version, the, the most recommended one. And here you can see .NET 8. Uh, if you are seeing it in a different year, you may see .NET 9 or 10 or 11, doesn't matter. So just click over here. Here you can see .NET HDK 64. So I'll just click on it. And here you can see a download is started over here. And the file size is 224 MB. So right now I'll just fast forward the video. And there you can see the download is complete. So right now I just double click over here and it will show us an option like this. And what we are going to do is that, so right now let me just minimize this. And there you can see, uh, it will show us a pop-up like this. And here you can see the install option or install button. So I'll just click on install, then click yes. And here it will install the .dot SDK in our windows. So again, I'll just push for the video. It will take like 30 seconds. And there you can see the installation is complete. So right now we can just close this. So right now what we are going to do is that we are going to create a folder over here for our c -sharp project. So I'll just right click, then click new. And here I'll click folder. And let's say the folder name will be first project. So here you can see first project, let me just zoom in uh, so that you can see here you can see we have a folder over here and there is nothing inside this folder, there you can see. So right now what we are going to do is that we are going to open our Visual Studio code. So let me just search over here, Visual Studio code, here you can see, so let me just open it. So after opening the Visual Studio code, we need to open our this project folder. So what we are going to do is that we just click on file. Then here you can see open folder, click on open folder and we'll go to our desktop and here you can see first project, select it, then select folder. And there you can see, uh, do you trust the author, just select it and click on trust. And here you can see first project, there is nothing in this folder. So right now what we are going to do is that here you can see the extension option, just click on extension and then we're going to search over here, C sharp. C sharp dev kit and once you search for C sharp dev kit you will see something like this here you can see C sharp dev kit I'll just click on it and here you can see install option click on install and it is installing so installing C sharp dev kit may take 2 to 3 minutes or maybe 5 minutes so I'll just fast forward the video and here you can see the installation is complete so after this we need we also need to install this package as well C sharp in telecode. Here you can see in telecode. Also, you can just search it over here as well. So here you can see install option. So I'll just click on install. So it will take some time again. So I'll just again fast forward the video. So there you can see in telecode is installed. So right now let's so in order to check whether C sharp is installed properly, what we need to do is that we need to just search over here CMD, press enter, and let me just zoom in. We need to see over here dotted minus minus version. Press enter and here you can see it is showing us the dotted version. It means C sharp is perfectly installed. So we can just close this. And right now let's go just click over here. Explorer and here you can see first project. There is nothing in this folder. So what we are going to do is that we just click on this setting option at the bottom. Here you can see click on this and here you can see common plate. Just click on common plate and here you need to search for .NET clone new project this one here you can see new project .net. so just click over here and after it here you can see console app just click on console app and here you can just rename it let's say over here my first console app and just press enter after it here you can see default directory so i'll click on default directory here you can see first underscore project which is our project name so i'll just click on it so right now here, if I now just click on my first project, my folder here, you can see we have a few files over here, files and folder. And here you can see my first console app.csproj and here you can see 
program dot cs and here you can see hello so how can we run this so in order to run it uh, let me just make it bigger over here here you can see terminal output whatever so here you can see at the right upper corner we have this option over here if i this is the run button if i now click on it and right now if i just make it bigger over here and click over here debug console here you can see hello or if i just changed it from hello or to hello to visual studio and then click on this run button again and there you can see hello to visual studio so this is how you can install c -sharp and run the c -sharp project in visual studio code i hope this tutorial is useful to you if you have any question just let me know in the comment section make sure to subscribe and i hope to see you in the future tutorials